Thursday evening, October 11th, we're towards the end of the fifth day. I want to talk about three issues. After I give a very brief update of what's going on, I want to talk about terrorizing. Hamas is a terror organization, and what it wants to do is terrorize. I want to talk about Hezbollah and the Northern Front. And last, I want to talk a bit about perception and that gap in perception between how we in Israel view the arrival, for example, of the U.S. naval carrier and how that's probably viewed both by the terrorists and by other people within the region. Let's start with a brief update on this day. The idea of all of the chaos and the balagan, everything going on, balagan is a nice word, but all of this chaos is to make it as difficult as possible for Israel, both to clean out the last of these terror nests inside Israel while continuing to attack the Hamas infrastructure in the Gaza Strip. So that's something that is ongoing. It's not going to stop. It's not going to stop until that is over. And that's what's happening down south. Up north, we have already seen a few more, both exchanges of fire, and as I like to call that, Hezbollah testing the water, trying out, poking here and there. Hezbollah wants to join, doesn't want to join. They're still trying to figure that out. Hamas and Hezbollah most definitely have some kind of coordination going on. This is something that we can understand in hindsight. No, we didn't know this before, but we're already into this event. They're firing some rockets. They're firing some anti-tank missiles. They're probably trying out to see what Israeli response is and what we can do with our capabilities. What are they doing when they're terrorizing? What Hamas did on Saturday and on Sunday is on purpose, as part of their plan, as part of a terror organization, they terrorize. They filmed and uploaded for us, for me, for you to see the films of mutilating, butchering, decapitating the different people of doing that, of babies, of adults, of taking the hostages, of showing them in a way so that our heart is dead and terrorized. That's what they do. That's what they want to do. That's part of the impact. That's part of the effect. They are going to continue to do so. It's going to get worse. They are going to put out footage and photos, live streaming of killing hostages, and they're going to blame us. You have to look at this. This is a terror organization. That's what they're doing. They're trying to frighten us. They're trying to terrorize us. Will Hezbollah join, yes or no? It is very hard to tell. Hezbollah wants to join, but they're also the ones who kind of like, let Hamas take it all right now. We'll show our support, but that they don't have to be hurt right now. They want to wait. They want to preempt. They want to start when it's good for them. I very still at this stage find it hard to understand what we will be doing. I again remind you all, Hezbollah has 10 times the amount of strength that Hamas has. Last but not least, perceptions. Terrorism is all about perceptions. It's about they're trying to terrorize us and to make us feel less safe, that we really don't know what's going on, all of these different impacts and effects and with so many visuals. That's what ISIS did. That's what Hamas is doing. That's what they're trying to continue to do. The U.S. aircraft carrier arrived in the Middle East. All of the Israelis looked at that. Every single one that I've heard said, ah, for a moment, I want you to look at the other side. Hamas just don't care. Hezbollah just don't care. They look at that and they say, oh, the United States of America that doesn't have any strength, but that the United States of America is here to help the Zionist entity. They are going to say, and we've heard voices like these, both in Iraq, Hezbollah supporters in Iraq, certainly in Iran, that they will attack now Americans and other places if the U.S. would intervene. This is about a perception game. This is about who can blink first. But be clear, Hamas terror organization, they terrorize, they mutilate, they kill, they're proud of it, and they show it to make you frightened. Breathe in deep. It's going to get worse. I hope tomorrow it won't be worse.